guys, today I'm going to be talking about Jane Mansfield and I'll also show you how I got this makeup look inspired by her. Jane Mansfield was born Vera Jane Palmer on the 19th of April 1933 in Pennsylvania. She was the only child of Herbert and Vera Palmer. Her father died when she was very young and after her mother remarried, the family moved to Dallas, Texas. Jane was an intelligent child and got good grades at school. At 17, she married Paul Mansfield on the 6th of May 1950 and her daughter Jane Marie Mansfield was born six months later. As a child, Jane's dream was to be a Hollywood star like Shirley Temple. She studied acting at university. In 1954, Jane moved to Los Angeles and auditioned at both Paramount Pictures and Warner Brothers, but failed to impress. She then decided to work on her appearance and went blonde. She then began to get recognised more. In January 1955, Jane appeared at the Silver Springs, Florida press junket, promoting the film Underwater. She purposely wore a bikini too small, and when she dove into the pool for photographers, her top came off, creating a burst of media attention. The publicity led to Warner Brothers and Playboy approaching her. Jane loved publicity and went on to have a lot of wardrobe malfunctions. In 1955, Jane was the Playboy Playmate of the Month and appeared in the magazine several times, which helped boost Jane's career. Her husband was not happy with her career and tried to get custody of their daughter, saying that Jane was an unfit mother because she appeared nude in Playboy. Jane's first film part was a supporting role in Female Jungle with Warner Brothers. She was later dropped by Warner Brothers and signed with 20th Century Fox on a six-year contract. They wanted to have her as a successor to Marilyn Monroe, who was proven difficult for the company at the time. Jane starred in the 1956 film The Girl Can't Help It, which became one of the year's biggest successes. Fox started promoting Jane as Marilyn Monroe king size, hoping to persuade Monroe to return to the studio and complete her contract. But Jane wanted to move away from her blonde bombshell image and establish herself as a serious actress. She starred in the 1957 film The Wayward Bus, which is generally considered her best acting role, but Jane gained no major star roles in film after 1959. Jane married the 1955 Mr Universe, Mickey Hargitay, in 1956. They had three children together. Jane's third husband was to an Italian-born film director, Matt Simba, in 1964. They had one child together but divorced in 1966. In the early hours of the 29th of June 1967, Jane was on her way to New Orleans with her driver, her attorney and three of her children when their car crashed into the back of a tractor trailer. All three adults died instantly. Jane was only 34 years old. Jane is known for helping shape the dumb blonde stereotype despite being very intelligent. She understood the power of image in Hollywood and used it effectively to stay in the limelight and her name is still well known today. She's quoted in saying, if you're going to do something wrong, do it big because the punishment is the same either way. I'm now going to show you how I got this makeup look inspired by Jane Mansfield. I'm first applying my foundation and I'm using the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation from Maybelline in the shade Nude. For bronzer I'm using the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit and I'm applying this along my cheekbones and along my jawline. For blush I'm using one from Kiko and it's in the shade Sweet Coral. For the eyes I'm using the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced and I'm taking the shade White Peach and applying this over my lids. I'm now just filling in my brows and then taking that White Peach shade again I'm adding this to my brow bones. Taking the shade Puree I'm blending this above my crease line. Thank you. 
I'm now applying a brown liquid liner along my upper lash line and then winging it out slightly at the end. Off camera I'm going to apply a generous amount of mascara to my top and bottom lashes as well as add on some false lashes. For lipstick I'm using this coral coloured one from Rimmel London and to the centre of my lips I'm applying my Sweet Peach Lip Gloss from Too Faced. And that completes this makeup look inspired by Jane Mansfield. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!